Hi everybody, Mike here. Thanks for watching. We're going to talk about my newest build. This build is the Straw Hat Aerial Le Pigeon Frame. It's the 8 inch version and we're flying their naked Black Magic Pocket Cinema 4K kit. What we're going to do is go over six areas that I've discovered that will help improve your video to reduce vibrations and jello. But my goal here is to try to get the quad flying as smooth and as vibration free as possible prior to using any gyro flow stabilization. If the video has uh, fine vibrations in it, uh, gyro flow won't be able to get all the vibrations out. And in fact, in some cases, it can make your video look worse. The first tip involves fixing jello is to make sure that you have a tight fitting MFT lens on the build. The first time I flew it, I had very bad jello, as you can see in this video here. I took a close look at the setup and I discovered that the lens fit pretty loose on the bayonet mount. I could wiggle it with my fingers and so what was happening is it was vibrating during flight. So the fix was to swap out the stainless steel bayonet mount and that solved the problem. The lens fits very tight now and does not wiggle at all during the flight. The wonderful developers of Gyroflow, they recommend that you shoot at high of a shutter speed as possible. Doing so helps make a crisp image, which makes the Gyroflow software more effective. Well, that may work fine on the ground, but I discovered with my quad that if I had shutter speeds of, say, 1 250th or 1 500th, I got all kinds of jello in my video. And you can see it here on the edges uh, occurring during these flights. What's at play here is the camera uses what's called a rolling shutter. Vibrations of the quad combined with the sensor's uh, readout speed for the rolling shutter just happens to cause these artifacts. So I went back to shooting at 1 1 20th and the jello disappeared. Someone suggested to me that I run my motors at 24 kilohertz PWM frequency to get more efficiency out of the motors. So I gave that a try and what it resulted in was some more vibrations here as you can see in the video near the mountains. This particular frequency and my setup and my motors induced these vibrations. So the fix was getting back into BL Heli 32 and changing the frequency back to 48 kilohertz and away went the vibrations. So try to run your PWM frequency as high as you can and that will depend on your particular ESC. I also discovered during my flight test for this particular build that different propellers made a difference as far as vibration. You can take a look here and on the left, looking at the trees at the far distance, there is a slight variation. The propellers used on the left were a little more noisier. You can also see it here looking at the snow in the distance. The screen on the right is a little bit sharper. And also look at these white trees in the foreground. The image on the right using the HQ props is just slightly sharper. So all other things being set the same, props do make a difference. Another suggestion is, of course, make sure you eliminate all mechanical vibration sources in your build. Some sources of vibrations can be the antennas on your quads. If they vibrate a lot, if they're floppy, or the mounts used, uh, they can induce vibrations. I have had a battery on my quad that was attached to a soft foam pad and discovered that the battery was moving about when I was flying. I now mount my battery on a hard pad and make sure it's secured rock solid to the frame. You could possibly have a bad motor or a bad bearing and you can use Betaflight to spin up your motors on the bench and take a look at the noise of each motor. You may be unfortunate and just have a bad frame that you're using that has a bad design and it just, uh, it's just noisy. This Straw Hat Aerial Le Pigeon frame is specifically designed and well built and it eliminates or reduces a lot of the vibrations. And of course your camera mounts need to be effective and properly installed. In this particular build they use a beta gel dampening system between the camera and the quad's body and uh, you need to make sure that that's configured properly or if you're flying a GoPro make sure you have good vibration dampening TPU mounts. And of course another fix is to make sure you fine tune and refine your motor filters and your PIDs. I won't go into any detail here because I am not an expert at all in this subject. But there are many, many excellent videos online. Refining PIDs, obviously, uh, is very important. There's 
room for improvement and I'll continue to tweak the PIDs and the filtering over the next few weeks. A lot of this video uh, you've been seeing of this one flight here has had the gyroflow stabilization applied and I've used a very minimal amount of stabilization. Well, there you have it. Those are my suggestions on what I've learned over the past couple of months setting up this particular build. Uh, some of it may be relevant, some of it may not be. But uh, keep an eye out. There's more fun coming. We're going to start filming and flying some, some fun things here in the mountains. And uh, thanks for watching.